Subscribe to the YouTube channel for the latest updates. Halima is now officially the fourth Category 4 storm of this year's Southwest Indian Ocean cyclone season, currently at 14.2 degrees south and 73.4 degrees east. It has uh, expectedly strengthened to a moderate Category 4 system on a Sapphire Simpson scale with winds of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 939 millibars. It is moving south at 7 miles per hour and has no steepest rating uh, due to it far away from any landmass which will be shown in a map later in the video. As you can see on this map, the closest island, the Rotrix, is still a little tiny dot uh, west of this system. This storm is actually quite small in terms of size. To reiterate uh, how far away this storm is from any landmasses, it is 1,226 kilometers away from the Rotrix. 1,817 from Mauritius, 2,066 from Reunion, 2,605 from Tuamasina, and 2,811 from Antananarivo, the latter two being in the island of Madagascar. So you can see that this storm is currently in the middle of the ocean. So low land threats are expected. This 140 miles per hour system is uh, regarded by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and the Material France by the estimates. And the others, uh, the satellite estimates, uh, ranging from Category 2 from the Archer to AMSU going as far as 150 miles per hour. Here's the forecast track uh, showing this storm is expected to deep south, uh, dive south uh, and then may uh, traverse uh, weakening in the process and may go uh, east as this storm continues to weaken but its wind fields will uh, actually large enough a little bit but you can see that there are no landfall threats in effect so uh, we can of course we can enjoy tracking this storm because there are no land threats in effect. The surface temperature is relatively moderate for this system to uh, maintain its intensity and maybe intensify now around 28 to 29 degrees celsius uh, below the uh, cyclone uh, fueling enough energy for this storm to intensify. Now if we take a look to the GFS model, you can see that uh, the trend for the GFS is actually quite similar to what Mathieu France Cohn has uh, wanted, a, a, a deep a a dive in south and then a rather eastward track towards day 4 or to day 5. And the multi models are expecting this uh, intensification, but the uh, now the Joint Typhoon Warning Centers estimates going uh, as high as 130 knots as the peak. The Blaise is expected to maintain at 10 knots before um, shooting up to around 10 to 30 knots. The track is quite uniform as this storm continues to dive south and may recurve to east uh, in day 3 to day 5. actually see in the satellite images how beautiful this storm is uh, wrapping up in and traversing in the middle of nowhere in the southwest Indian Ocean. So uh, no landfall threats as I've mentioned, uh, not, no landfall threats are expected within the system so we can safely track this storm without fearing the impacts that it, this storm may cause uh, during its process. The eye tried to clear out uh, several hours ago but uh, the process has started but it has not finished yet. If this uh, process, if the eye clears, we may be seeing another phase of intensification and may have a run for this storm to have a category 5 storm status. But we don't know yet and there is so much potential with this system. Force 13 will continue conducting, um, conducting video updates for this system as this storm traverses in the middle of nowhere.